Hello everybody, I am Kelly Atchison at astampabub.com coming to you live from Sarasota, Florida. Welcome to my Facebook Live. I'm just gonna get my iPad set up here right away. There we go, yay, that was seamless. So, we might have a few technical difficulties tonight. I'm just gonna warn you right away because my stand is not tight, so it keeps sliding down. <laughs> it's a girl. And I knew this, but I forgot about it, and I was gonna tell Steve to tighten it because I am not strong enough. I cannot tighten it anymore. Hi, Cindy. I see lots of people popping in. Andy's here, welcome. And Debbie. So yeah, we could have some technical difficulties. We may be a little closer to my table than I would like because I need to have, you know, some room to show you guys how to make cards. So we'll just deal with that when we get there. Hi, Ginny. Hi, Yvette. Welcome. So tonight is my last night in Sarasota. We are so, it's kind of a love-hate thing tonight. We are so sad to be going home, but we are happy to be going home to see our kids and grandbabies, right? Hi, Sharon, welcome, and Linda. Um, so Steve and I, oh, today, good Lord, I cleaned all morning. So there's new people coming into this condo tomorrow. And um, my cousin who owns it asked, do you want me to hire a house cleaner to come clean it or and I'm like no I can clean it <laughs> I will not do that again <laughs> I spent my entire morning dripping wet looking like holy you know what um cleaning this place it is spotless like it is clean I wiped baseboards I vacuumed baseboards I vacuumed all the corners I vacuumed the lanai and the screen um you know walls and I did everything. It's so clean. So I hope these people like it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I said to Steve when I got done, I ached and I was just beat. And on my last day, that's not what I wanted to be doing. So I said to Steve, I said, I will not do that again. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> he like knew that it's like, okay. Anyways, it was just a lot. It was a lot, and it wasn't what I wanted to be doing on my last day. So, what is, Ginny says, do you have a little diamond in your nose? I do have a little diamond in my nose. I have had that for a very long time. My little diamond in my nose. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you've never seen it before. I hope you don't have me on the big screen. <laughs> yeah. So, hi from Wisconsin, Nancy. Oh my gosh, yeah, we're going back to the frozen tundra. We are, Steve said, we're taking off first thing in the morning. And then as we start getting closer, he's like, yeah, well, we'll leave when we leave. <laughs> so, whatever. Um, we have to have a few things have to be finalized yet before we can get out of here, but I'm sure it won't be too long in the morning. So yeah, um, I we went out to eat this afternoon, which was really nice. We went to Turtles. For those of you that know Sarasota, you know Turtles. And we were there when Mike and Vicki were here visiting. And um, I just needed to go back for my coconut shrimp, which is one of my loves, and uh, the barbecued ribs. So it was a combination. Oh my goodness, so delicious. And I had a pina colada. So Steve's like, yeah, we'll see how that Facebook Live goes tonight. <laughs> Don't you worry, because when I got home, I was in a food coma and I went and took a little quick nap. So I am all good and the pina colada is gone. <laughs> yeah, my last supper. That's what I said. It was my last supper. And then we went to this um, shop and picked up some t-shirts and stuff for the kids. Um, because I, I had done that a little bit, but I needed to tie up loose ends. So I got that done. But um, today after I got done cleaning... I went and spent a couple hours by the pool. Yay! And I loved it. And yes, I do have a pretty good tan going. I am not as dark as Steve. That will never happen. So I just, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that whole thing. <laughs> he can say whatever he wants. 
Um, Lisa just asked me a question, I, and I was going to answer you, and then I forgot what you asked me. Oh, Haley says, you better get your booty home. Val is expecting you to get her in the afternoon on Wednesday. I know, I know. Your dad says when we get on the road, we're going to hit it hard. Whatever. Um, we'll be home. we got to come see our babies. Lisa said, is this a new necklace? No, this is not a new necklace. This is my Stampin' Up! necklace from a couple years ago for being in the top 100 in the United States. So, yay! I love this. I wear it all the time. So I'm glad you noticed it, Lisa. But yeah, Haley, Haley sent us a message today because I was kind of posting pictures on Snapchat that it was my last walk this morning. So I took a picture of where I was walking around the complex and um, then I went out and laid by the pool. It's my last day at the pool. <laughs> and Haley says something like, I'm really sad that it's your last day there, but you need to get home now because this is bordering on child abuse. <laughs> kids are so funny but yeah I thought that was really cute um did you guys notice that Facebook deleted my video from last week yeah I have a love-hate relationship with Facebook and um every once in a while they just do that and I don't know why and it's infuriating so if you're looking for my video from last week I did take it when I'm done with the Facebook live I immediately download it to my computer because of this, because they've done this to me before. And um, then I upload it to YouTube for my YouTube followers, right? And then I'm able to grab that link and put it on my blog for my blog followers. I got the people, I'm, I'm taking care of the people all over the place. And so thank goodness that it wasn't a, you know, well, it is a big deal, but I, I still have the video. If you're looking for it, you'll find it on my blog. Um, yeah, it's pretty frustrating when things like that happen and there's really no recourse. I did um, I, I did send that video out. We, ca we call it, we boost our videos and you can pay Facebook money and they will push your video out to a selected audience, okay? You get to choose your parameters. And I even boosted that video. So I paid money to have that video pushed out and boosted on the Facebook platform and they they made it disappear so I I was able to say hey where's my video and put it back <laughs> they didn't answer me <laughs> I don't think they like me <laughs> I know what's not like to no, what's not to like like seriously Facebook get it together anyways if you're looking for it you're gonna find it on my blog it's very frustrating when stuff like that happens but technology is not <gasps> perfect as we all know yeah who just said something? Mary Ellen said, whoops, they have been not letting me share some stamping sites to friends in the last few weeks. Yeah, they're, they're, they're something else. We don't understand. Anyways, um, so just know that my video is on my blog. You can find it there. I did get lots of pool time this week, so that was fun because I just really love soaking up the sun. And I know it's not good for you and all that stuff, but you know, we all pick our little, our things, right? Yeah, that's my thing. Um, Randy and Lucy report. I do not have much to tell you about Randy and Lucy because they left. Randy and Lucy and Lucy's mom all left. They went back to upstate New York and we really had a very nice time with them. Um, but we did make other friends here. Like I told you every Thursday night, there's a happy hour out in front of the garage that belongs to this condo. And... Um, we got to meet a lot of really nice people. The people that are on the third floor from us, there's only three floors in this building, is um, Maureen and Bill and um, Paul. Paul is visiting with his mom and um, they invited us for dinner tonight and if we wouldn't have been going out to eat for our last supper in Sarasota, we would have been upstairs having steak with our neighbors. So it's been really fun. I met a lot of really nice people here everybody was so nice and so accommodating and so very helpful because you learn a lot of like well you should go here to eat and if you're looking for this if you're looking for Italian this is the place and and there's a craft fair this weekend and oh and so it was really fun the craft fair turned out not to be a craft fair it was a uh, lots of food vendors and fresh produce and you could buy some planted potted flowers but that was about it so anyways we went there and it was fun Lisa said there's no action at John's house. 
when she stopped there. <laughs> she was probably picking up swaps from Kathy Miller or dropping swaps off. So thanks, Lisa. Yeah, I haven't heard any more about John. I have heard that Fred um, has been, you know, working hard, but Haley said, boy, oh boy, when are you coming home? Because he's not even close to being done with our staircase. And I said, well, he's probably going to work all weekend because his wife will probably be off work and then she can keep the kids while he works some pretty long hours. So can't wait to show you all that. Yay. Um, for those of you that might not know, while we're here, I'm getting my upstairs finished. So we've done each room and the bathroom over the last couple years. And while we're here in Florida, Fred is doing the hallway, the closet, and the staircase, and then putting new doors on all the um, rooms upstairs because we didn't get the doors replaced yet. So we're pretty excited to see what that looks like. Yay! I know. Um, let's see. We did find a flea market. So my cousin's husband, Dan, I'm just going to call him my cousin too. Um, so my cousin, Dan, has a set of golf clubs in the garage that he picked up, I believe, at a rummage sale. But the bag that they're in, are he, it's humongous and he hates it. So he told Steve while we're out and about running around, if he finds a smaller golf bag, that would be great. So on the day that we went to the craft fair, not craft fair, <laughs> we happened to drive by a flea market and we saw it in time to turn into it. And we're driving down and looking at all this stuff and it just looked like a bunch of junk. But then all of a sudden, down a road, we saw a whole bunch of golf bags. Yay! So we got him a golf bag for 20 bucks. Woohoo! That's winning, right? Um, what else? I had a really fun lunch this week with uh, four of my team members that are here in the Sarasota area. Well, Jackie's not in Sarasota. But um, she drove down, and we all went, met and had lunch at the boathouse, which was delightful. We had such a good time, and it is the first time that I get to meet all of these people in person. They see me here like you guys do. They see me on Zoom meetings. I do a question and answer every Tuesday morning live like this for my team. Um, and we have a Zoom meeting once a month, and we do um, a Demonstrator 101 training group every Wednesday. So they get to see me online all the time. But we finally got to meet in person, and it was just wonderful. I can't wait to come down here again next year and see who else I have. We can all get together again and maybe some new some new people in the area that couldn't come this time can, can come too. So that was really fun. So thanks to Betty, Randy, Jackie, and Belinda for meeting me for lunch. I really enjoyed that. Also, a new thing that I'm doing with my cards, and I'm just trying this out for a while to see if people like it. I am creating a project sheet for each one of my cards that I share with you on the internet. And I have a free download. And what that means is you can go to my blog and you can find this little graphic that says you make it. And when you click on that, it's gonna open up a PDF file with the card, some of uh, the ingredients, the dimensions, some brief instructions and the picture and the link back to the video. So, I hope you guys are enjoying that. I've heard from a few people that they really love it. And you can print those out and keep them in a, some sort of a binder library for your stamping ideas. Or you can save them to your computer. And Dolly's on here. She said she really likes it. You can save them to your device so that you can go back and have them, um, you know, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say digitally. Is that right? I don't know. You guys know what I mean. Okay, I'm hearing from lots of people. They love the downloads. Excellent. So it's just a little extra step that I do and um, I do business training and that was recommended by my business trainer that I should be offering free downloads. So like I said, I'm going to try it out for a little while and um, sounds like you guys are really loving it. So for those of you that weren't aware of it, make sure you head over to my blog. I do have my blog post ready to roll when we're done tonight. I um, All I have to do is download this video and upload it to YouTube, put the link in my blog, and I can hit publish. So it'll be, it'll be ready pretty quick. 
So, ah, uh, thank you so much, Wendy. Wendy says, thank you for all your hard work. Oh, and Sandra's on here. Yay, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, so my blog is a place, it's a landing place. It's like my home base. And so when I'm done doing anything on Facebook or YouTube, it always goes to my blog. And that way, when you're searching for something, like you're like, darn, where did that card go? You can always go to my blog and scroll through and you'll find it. You'll find a video tutorial. There's a complete shopping list if you're like, oh, I can't remember what color she said that cardstock was. Just look down in the shopping list. It's going to be listed there. What was the name of that stamp set? Boom, it's right there for you. You can also click on any of those items that are pictured and it'll take you right to my Stampin' Up! store where you can order anything that you need. So um, I, I try to make everything as easy as possible so that you don't have to spend a lot of time looking, searching around and... Ugh, it's so annoying, isn't it? I know. Ah, oh, what did you're getting? Too techie for me, Barb says. No, I'm keeping everything super easy for you, Barb. You just click. That's all you need to do is click. Click around. See what everything does. All right. Um, Haley. Haley update. Haley is ready to have this baby. She is due March 8th. And that is in nine days. Between now and March 8th, we're gonna have a baby. And if she doesn't have the baby, oh, how's that gonna work, Haley? If you don't have the baby by the seventh, they're gonna they're gonna induce her because the baby's big enough. It needs to come out. Haley has very narrow hips or whatever. And so they can't let the baby get too big from my understanding. So anyways, she's ready. She's ready to have this baby. Haley says eight days, eight days. In eight days, we're gonna have a baby. <gasps> so exciting, right? I can't wait to see how Val reacts. <laughs> I know, we've said she's gonna kill the baby. <laughs> she's such a boss. Oh my gosh, she's so funny. Okay, and Val went potty on the um, potty chair again. All by herself, she just said I had to go potty. So. That's cool. We're working on it. I may or may, may not have ordered her a potty watch. Have you guys seen this thing? It's super duper cute. And who just said it's negative two in Menasha? Margaret, that's terrible. Um, it's a little watch and it has a timer on it. And yeah, Haley is still working. <laughs> Connie said she's so excited for Haley, Jared, and Val. Hi, Mom. My mom's on here tonight. Um, but I ordered this watch. Oh, my watch is talking to me. Uh, it's a it's a potty watch, and like every hour, it starts to play music, and they're supposed to go into their potty chair and try to go potty. So they wear the watch, and then it like has this cute little music on it that's like, oh, time to go potty. I don't know what it says, but she'll probably be potty trained before I get it. But anyways, I did a little shopping the other night because, well, why wouldn't you? Everybody's saying hi to mom. Hi mom. Yay. Um, okay. Wanted to tell you. Where's all my stuff? Right here. Oh, let me grab it. Uh, celebration. You guys, celebration. Last day is Tuesday, February 28th. Get your celebration orders in. It's the best time of year to start stocking up on stuff. Um, because... For every $50, you get to choose a free item, right? And we have a couple items that are $100 items. When you when your order reaches $100, you get those free. And that would be the Friendly Hello. Oh, you get the stamp set and the designer paper. And also the Special Moments. This is a fabulous greeting set. It's got 21 photopolymer stamps in it. So it's a really good deal. But anyway, celebration ends on Tuesday. And if you are a paper pumpkin lover, on page seven of our hol or our spring mini catalog, you're gonna find all the details here about paper pumpkin prepaid subscriptions. So I just wanted to make sure that you know, with a three month, six month, or 12 month prepaid paper pumpkin subscription, you still get celebration items. So three months would be $63, you get one free item because your order's over $50. A six month is $114, you would get two celebration items or one $100 celebration item. And if you do a 12 month, that's $220.
you're going to get one, two, three, four celebration items. Ah! Yeah, so it's the best time to um, pay for a prepaid subscription and get free stuff. So who just said something? Tomorrow is the 28th, last day. Tuesday is the, oh, I'm sorry. The 28th is the last day. I don't know why I have, I, I struggle with the dates. I say one thing and then I say another and nobody knows what's going on. Um, but anyways, um, yes, tomorrow is the 28th. That is the last day. Tuesday is March 1st and we have all kinds of stuff happening then. I'm not even going to get into it. You watch my blog and um, while we're driving tomorrow, I'm going to be creating all of my um, information for there's a sale that's starting. We have Waves of the Ocean promotion starts March 1st through May 2nd. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is fabulously gorgeous. When we turn the camera around, I'm going to show you. I've got the actual products here, so yay. And then I wanted to check with you to see, did you guys see my blog hop on Friday? These are wobblers. I've got wobblers under these kites. Super, super cute. This is called a split front technique. And of course, there's a video that shows you exactly how to do it. I've got wobblers under these kites, so they wiggle and move. So fun. And of course, matching envelopes. Yeah, so this is on my blog on Friday. And here's the, what the wobblers look like, in case anybody's wondering. They're called wobbles, W-O-B-B-L-E-S. And they are, I get mine from Amazon. There's 48. These are the mini wobbles, and there's 48 in a pack. Jenny wants me to bring the heat home. Jenny, believe me, if I could do that, oh, girlfriend, I would be very happy. Yeah, I wish Stampin' Up! sold wobbles too, but they don't. So <laughs> we got to do what we got to do, right? Um, Holly says she loves the waves of the ocean. I do too. It's really, really pretty. Just wanted to let you know our retreat. We have early bird pricing on our spring retreat. It is completely virtual. There's going to be mystery stamping and live classes and $100 plus in Stampin' Up! product in your goodie box. The um, retreat is $149. That's a $10 discount after tomorrow. February 28th, it goes up by $10. So there's a $10 discount on early bird registration. Again, you can find all that information on my blog. And um, the Hello Beautiful class is going to be going out as soon as I get home. The PDF file has already been sent out to everybody that bought it. But um, I'll get your pre-cut cardstock packs in the mail as soon as I get home. I do still have some of those kits left. And then also the Grassy Grove kit, I only have one left. So if anybody's interested in getting that, first come. First come, early bird gets the worm. <laughs> okay, I think that's all I had for that. I wanted to do prizes tonight. And since my Facebook video was deleted by Facebook, thank you very much. I had to, um, I went out to YouTube exclusively. Oh yeah, Dolly says, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that like, okay? Because you'll get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. This is what I'm giving away tonight for commenting. And this is Polished Dots. The winner of the Polished Dots is Christine Hoover of Lakeville, Minnesota. These are on their way to you tomorrow morning. I'm going to go, whoops, put this in the mail when I get done tonight. Also, uh, let's see, what was this for? Oh, this is for sharing the video. You can share it on Facebook right now. There's a share button someplace on your screen you can click. You can also share it when you're watching later on YouTube. And June Franco shared the video and she is going to be getting a beautiful roll of fine art ribbon for sharing. So thank you very much, June. June is from Gardenia, California. And your prize will also be going out in the mail tomorrow with this fun envelope. And then the third way to win fabulous prizes from me is to place an order. And so 
for placing an order in the last week, I have the special moments. This is one of those $100 sets that's um, for celebration. And Melissa Arps of West Bend, Wisconsin, this is coming to you tomorrow. So yay! And I have everything packaged up and with labels ready to go in the mail. So I won't lose them in my way home. So has got all of my stamping stuff packed except what we're using right here tonight. So that was pretty awesome of him, right? Okay, those are all our prizes. I am going to flip the camera around, cross your fingers, that my video stand will stay up here where it belongs because Steve is sleeping and I forgot to have him crank on it and tighten it because I can't. I, it's really hard and I don't have the strength and I don't know where the pliers are here or I would have gotten them out. All right, let's flip this baby around. <laughs> I just saw myself on my, on my um, iPad. <laughs> okay, hang tight everybody. If we get disconnected, I will pop right back in here. Uh, let me get this turned around. There we go. And this is where we're gonna have the problem. See what I mean? Oh, this is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. Let me see here. Here's my piercing mat. Well, maybe it will. Oh, I'm gonna make it work. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna straight, I just said, oh shoot, hang on, hang on. Facebook didn't like that. Here we go. All right. Are we good? Is everybody good? I think we're good. Oh, hope it stays up there. <laughs> All right, you guys, waves of the ocean. Holy cow, look at the beautiful, beautiful stamps in here. Absolutely incredible. Also, Rhinestone Waves Basic Jewels. Look at these beautiful blues and greens. Oh, I am a sucker for rhinestones. Then we have, oh, you know what? I didn't pull out the blue foils and I have them, but I think they're packed already, you guys. Dang it. I'll have to look over here. Look at these. Look at all these dyes. So, so cool. So we have a die that will cut out this pelican on the posts right here. We have a label die here and here. We have the big wave die, two wave dies, some little splashy waves, a cloud, some more splashy waves, and another cloud. Oh, and some birds, these birdie things. Holy cow, there are 10 dies in this set. Then, let me take a look at this paper. I haven't even opened it up yet to see it in real life because I wanted to do it with you guys. Then we can ooh and ah together. Come on, you little bugger. There we go. Okay, are we ready? Ooh, oh my goodness, look how beautiful this is. Ah, so pretty. Look at that. This reminds me of an octopus, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Whoa. We have some incredibly beautiful, beautiful. Can you imagine what this is going to look like when you die cut some of these waves out of that? Like this is going to be just smashing. Look at how cool that is. Whoa. It is so pretty. All right, you guys, so this is the waves of the ocean. And we also have blue foil paper. And I believe this is only while supplies last. I, I oh, does anybody know if this is going to be in the new catalog and then the rest of this is while supplies last? Because it says only while supplies last on all of it. So I, I don't remember the um, specifics with this. If anybody remembers, help me out. Wish the DSP was available in Australia. Oh, I'm so sorry. That stinks. I know sometimes they have problems, right? Hang on, I'm going to look at my box here. Yep, here it is. 
This is the one box that is waiting for all this stuff we're using tonight. So yay, yay us. Oh, I picked the right box to hold on to. This is the blue foil. Of course, it's all 12 by 12. So we've got silver, two sheets of silver. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. <gasps> oh, so there's six sheets in here, six sheets of foils. Good grief, these are absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to play with this. Um, Dina, Barb, and I are going to be using the Waves of the Ocean for our online class in March. So that's going to be fun, you guys. So watch for that. When you buy this bundle with some other products, um, you will get the online class for free, the make and take packet for the cards for free when you buy the bundle from us. So just keep that in mind. Let me set that back over there. But this is going to be available. Um, oh, and it does say early release collection. So I'm thinking this and this are going to be in the new catalog. I'm looking to see what people are telling me. Bundle in the new catalog, paper and rhinestones. Okay, thank you very much. Paper and rhinestones are while supplies last, you guys. So they're only going to be available till May 2nd. I should have looked that up myself, but I didn't. So... I was um, by the pool. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, at some point, you just have to pull the plug, right? And go, I need, I need to go do something else. <laughs> and that was my, that's what I did. Okay. So let me put these all over here. And then we still have the all together um, bundle. This is a product collection. This is available till May 2nd. And out of this, the only thing that's going to be carrying over are the blends. So these are skin tone blends. They will be in the new catalog, but this black and white paper is delightful. Yeah, there's some really neat dyes. This is just a really cool bundle. So I wanted to share that with you again. Let me put those away. Here are the designer series papers that are free during celebration. This is the friendly hello. This is Free with a $100 order, it comes with a stamp set. Is the altogether black and white paper still available? As far as I know, Cindy, it is. Um, I have not heard that it is back ordered yet. So if somebody else knows something different, please let me know, but I didn't see it on the back order list. Hang on while I fan myself a little bit. <laughs> Sunshine and rainbows, free with a $50 order. Simply marvelous, free with a $50 order. Daffodil Afternoon. This matches that Daffodil Bundle suite of products. And this is free with a $50 order. All of these are going to be ending on tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day to get celebration items. And aren't we all so excited that none of these ran out? Like, that's kind of unheard of. So Stampin' Up! did a super good job of making sure we had enough product not to run out. So that's cool. All right. I think we're ready to stamp. What do you guys think? Are we ready to stamp? Let's get her done. Here we go. I am going to be using the Friendly Hello Bundle for the first card tonight. I have some really cool cards to share with you guys. I'm excited about this. Let me change into my other glasses now. And we are going to be using Fresh Freesia Memento Ink. The tailored tag punch. I didn't think I had this with me. So I was, I was, I, I had one punched Knight of Navy tag and I was going to like kind of use it as a template to cut it out with scissors. But then I found that I did bring it with me. So that was exciting. Who knew, right? I really did a, a, a very good job with the products that I brought along to Florida. I have to say, like, I've been really impressed with not having to improvise too much. Okay. So first things first, I like to put my little cheat sheet up here so I know what dimensions we're working with. Here comes all of our layers. We have a fresh freesia card base. <laughs> Barb says she really loves this designer paper. I know, right? It is so pretty, so pretty. Okay, I've got an envelope. I've got, hang on here. White layers, white layers, designer paper, scraps. Hang on, let's see what's going on here. Here we go. Another one. 
Yeah, so here's what I had. I found this in some of my stuff and I thought, oh, I don't have that punch here. But I could definitely stamp some words on here and then trace it out and cut it with scissors, right? Like that's what I thought I was gonna have to do tonight. But I was wrong. It's one of those times you're happy when you're wrong. Okay, we are going to be using the Fresh Freesia Designer Series Paper Pattern. And I am going to, of course, deck up, decorate up my envelope to make it absolutely beautiful. Did I see Patty Canal come on here? I think I did. Hi, Patty. All right, here we go. We're gonna push that right up to the top. And for those of you that may be new to me, this is how you decorate up an envelope and make it look fantastic. Now, when somebody gets this envelope in their mailbox, they're gonna open up their mailbox. Hang on, I'll show it to you in a second. And they're gonna see this little beauty in there and they're gonna go, oh my gosh, what is in there? And they're gonna run into their house <laughs> to open that up. I guarantee it. <laughs> okay, so here's our beautiful little envelope. Then I have a two by four inch piece, two by four of the designer paper. And this is um, peach on the other side. We're gonna be using this side. Got a scrap of basic white. I've got a half inch strip of the same paper. I've got two pieces of basic white, four by five and a quarter, and again, Please, um, we need Eddie Arnold to go away. We have a troll on here. Eddie, please go away. We don't need your nonsense in our class tonight. So if anybody has the ability to click on his thing and block him, do it. Yeah, troll alert. Don't click that link that he shared. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's just ignore now. So we're gonna take our card base and we're gonna fold it in half. And, oh, you know what I don't have? I don't have my bone folder, I'll bet. I put it away. I'll bet you anything. Okay, so we're not using a bone folder tonight. <laughs> it's, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. But what we are going to do is a little bit of stamping. So I'm going to take this white layer and thank you, Debbie. Thank you for blocking him. Thank you, Jenny, for reporting him. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. Rock stars. Now I'm using Fresh Freesia ink and the flowers from the Friendly Hello set. This is 13 different stamps in here, and it's free with the designer paper when your order hits $100. So we are going to put the flowers right here. Super pretty, right? And then I'm going to run this right up the side of my inside white layer. You guys know that I firmly believe that the party should not end when somebody opens a card. And a lot of times I see people that don't do anything with the insides of their cards. You've got all this stuff, make it special. That's my tip to you, make it special. If a card is worth making, it's worth decorating the inside. All right, here we go. And isn't that just pretty? That's so much better than just this, right? Or even better, how about just this? Nothing, so make it pretty. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, how many of you have this stitched greenery die? Like, holy cannoli. This thing is the coolest thing ever. We are going to place the other white layer on here and run it through our die cutting machine. And when we get done doing that, this is what we're going to have. Look at all that stitched leaves. So incredibly pretty. Love, love, love this. All right, we're going to take that and this black strip, this is three quarters by four. And remember, all of these dimensions can be found on my blog as soon as I get this video downloaded and uploaded to YouTube. I will have it available on there. So we're gonna take this first. We're gonna put this right on here. This is a classic layout and you can do this with just about 
any designer paper. Just a really beautiful layout. Then we're gonna take this black layer and we're gonna, oh, whew, I'm glad I didn't drop it on the other side. You know how when you drop your bread, buttered bread on the kitchen floor, it always ends up butter side down? Well, I got lucky because it was glue side up. <laughs> okay, here's that. Then the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do just a tiny bit of stamp in here. So here comes my Memento ink. And, oh, thank you, Marsha. Marsha says, very pretty. Thank you so much. We're gonna stamp that right there. Gonna close that up. We're going to bring in this tailored tag punch. Oh, Nancy says she waited forever for the, um, the stitch greenery dye to come in. What was the rest of what you said there? and then forgot to bring it with me to Florida. Oh, Nancy, darn it. You could have borrowed mine that I didn't know I had until yesterday. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna stamp that. Now we're gonna punch it, okay? And then we're gonna punch out of the scrap of fresh freesia too. Hang tight. Hang on while I fan myself again. I'm really warm tonight. I don't know what's going on. Okay, we're gonna take this and we're gonna cut it in half. Oh, you guys, did you see this? Look at my naughty finger. Yeah, I opened the dryer door tonight and it got caught and it busted my fingernail. Yeah, I wasn't too happy about that. My $32 manicure job. <laughs> I told you guys that, right, last week. I went and got my nails done at the nail salon that's in the little strip mall right over here where I just walked to it. And uh, no, it wasn't $32. It was took 32 minutes. 32 minutes from start to finish, this lady did my nails. It was crazy. It always takes an hour at my ladies. So I don't know. Oh, shoot. Hang on, don't put that one on there yet. Um, let me find a little, I gotta grab this little scrap so I don't get glue all over here. I forgot to stamp this because I'm talking about my nails. Um, maybe you're burning up to bring the heat home. <laughs> Jenny, that's possible. <laughs> of course that's it. Okay, I'm gonna take this little leaf sprig, which is part of the stamp set, and I'm gonna stamp it right there just for a little bit of something. How cute is that, right? It's just those little extra steps that really make things pretty. Let's see if I can make a gooey mess out of my glue here. I got kind of a lot on. No, oh, not too bad. Okay, so what I did is I just cut that in half so I could spread it out so I get a border around this punch. And that's just a really neat way to be able to use the punch to give you two things, right? And here comes my dimensionals. I'm using up the edges here because I have a lot of them. I did remember to keep my take your pick tool. I can't believe that my bone folder did not stay out of my box. Like, holy cow, Kelly, what were you thinking? And here comes this. I'm gonna put this right in the middle of my card. And I just think this is the coolest layout because it's so simple. What do you guys think? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up whether you're watching now on Facebook, later on Facebook, or on YouTube, you can you can give me a thumbs up. That's always appreciated. And let's see. Um, we're gonna do some of what my favorite again. Yeah, my favorite again, the iridescent rhinestones. I love these things, you guys. Like they are the bomb. And I like to use my take your pick tool. How many of you have this take your pick tool? It is the best tool ever. You will see me use it constantly for just about everything. Like I use it so much. I, I, it's like my an extension of my arm. All right, where'd my envelope go? Now, the one thing that I thought might be kind of cool is to take Wink of Stella. I didn't do this on the original card. This, by the way, was one of my swap cards when um, before we started celebration and I made a whole bunch of these and then I saved it 
so I could do a video for you guys. And so this is the first time I am showing anybody this card, even though I've had it since December. Isn't that crazy? I'm glad I saved it though, because it was a great thing to add to tonight's class. I just wanted to do one flower. Can you guys see the glisten, the glimmer, the beauty of that? I just thought that would be kind of cool. And here is our pretty little card using the Friendly Hello Designer Series paper and the stamp set. 13 different stamps in here. This is only available until February 28th. And it is free with a $100 order. So there you go, yay. Cynthia says she uses her take or pick tool all the time. I'm totally with you, Cynthia. Okay, let me get the stuff out of my way here. And everything. Whoops, I don't want that stamp to get all over my stuff. I think I'm using that again. So I'll keep that out and I'll keep my memento ink out. We'll put that away. Okay, whew. now. Next up, let me put this away. I'll set this down here on the floor so I have more room. Sure. Next up, oh my good grief. How many of you are in love with the On The Horizon suite of products? I absolutely love it. These are the um, pebbles, enamel shapes. I believe they're on back order right now. They're expected in, I believe, next week. So that's good news. Oh, look, I am using these again. I can't tell you how many packages I have open of these <laughs> because I love them. I've got gray granite ink here, and we've got the stamp set. I'm also going to be bringing in the Fabulous Palms dies. These have 11 different dies in here. And we're gonna be using those as well as the Horizon. Where is my, oh, here comes my paper. Oh, this paper, you guys, this doesn't even, these little squares don't even do it justice. It's got little scenes on most of it that you can adapt with your imagination and do some really cool things too. Who has this? This is the best. So I am going to, oh, I'll bring in my card layers here. Hang on just a second. Here comes my cheat sheet with my dimensions on it so I know what the heck I'm doing. I've got gray granite, four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half. Get out all my bits and pieces here. And then, here we go. Here it comes. Let's get this show going. Thank goodness I already, well, I didn't score very good, did I? Because it's kind of crooked. I hate it when that happens. And then I don't have a bone folder to make it right. Good grief, Kelly. Well, grab your wink, Estella. <laughs> we can improvise, right? We're good at this. Okay, basic, whoops, this is our envelope. Um, did I do a basic white on the inside? I did, but I don't see it here. So, I'm really glad that I have that white left over from my other piece. Hang on, I gotta find it. Here we go, whew, because I put everything away. I don't think I have any white. So this is four by five and a quarter. That's gonna go on the inside. And again, we are going to do an envelope flap because this card is going to be so amazing. We are definitely gonna to wanna to make the envelope just as amazing. Okay. This DSP layer, that stands for Designer Series Paper, in case somebody's new, is two and a half by six. And it's just the perfect amount to fit on the envelope. 
Then I've got a half inch strip here. That's gonna go on our, oh, oh we're gonna actually die cut that. I've got a three and three quarters by five inch basic black. I've got a black scrap and a gray granite scrap, a little tiny white scrap, and this is the beautiful on the horizons paper that I decided to use. Well, it's actually called New Horizons, but isn't that pretty? So yeah, I'm thinking this is the ground and this is like a sunset, right? Okay, we are going to, hang on, I gotta grab one more stamp. I'm gonna grab this one. We are going to grab this weedy stamp. I don't know what to call it, like beach grass. That would probably be a better term than weedy stamp. <laughs> what do you guys think? I think I'm gonna grab that and I am going to do a little bit of the weedy stamp right over here. Isn't that kind of cool looking? I love this set, I absolutely love it. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is take my gray granite, let's move this out of the way, and I'm going to bring in my scrap and my gray granite. These are both scraps, white and gray granite. Gray granite, I'm gonna take this, I call this the wood planks image because that's what it is. It's a bunch of wood planks. And I'm going to stamp that right on here. And then we're going to take this stamp that says relax and enjoy your day. I just want the enjoy and enjoy your day. That's all I want inked up here. So I have a baby wipe. I made sure I went in the bathroom and grabbed this before I came on. So I, in case I got ink on my fingers, but I take my fingernail and I push it up in here and then I can come in and very carefully make sure that there's no ink on the word relax. Huff on it like you're gonna clean your glasses. And then I'm gonna come right down here. Yay! That turned out really good. That's all I wanted. Now the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp my relax with the black. Um, oh, you know what else I can do? I can add some birds to this. I don't think about that. Hang on. We have this bird stamp in there and I'm thinking some black birds. Actually, I got them right side up. And I'm gonna just maybe do some black birds right there. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? This is so simple, you guys. It's like crazy easy to make the prettiest stuff here. All right, so let me do this and this. Now, we are going to fussy cut this and you can do it however you want but I wanted mine to be kind of like, I'm kind of cutting out the letters and just loosely, I guess, not real tight. And you'll notice when you do cutting like this that my scissors are pretty much staying stationary and my left hand is doing all the work moving that paper around. That's the easiest way that I find to cut things out. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, if you wanted to, you could take this and customize it just a little bit more, but it's all what you're comfortable with. If you think, ah, oh, that looks fine, then it looks fine. Don't stress yourself out over it. Okay, so we have this. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna put some mini dimensionals on the back. Let's see if this will stay back there. Yep, I think it's not too big. Oh, <laughs> before that, we're gonna use our dies. Here comes our dies. Hi, Nancy from Oklahoma. 
Look at all these cool dyes in here. Love the fence, these little houses. We've got some little trees, some um, beach grass, some mountains, and like some water or land, whatever you wanna call them. And then this, and this cuts out your wood planks. So we're gonna die cut that. And when we do that, we have this, okay? Oh, where did my relax go? Did you guys see it? What did I do with it? I don't know. <laughs> I have another one right here. I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. <laughs> there we go. Okay. God oh, darn it. Hate it when that happens. Grab your take your pick tool and get those backings off. I gotta be neat tonight because I spent a lot of time vacuuming this place today. I don't wanna make a big mess out of it, right? I'm gonna look at this, make sure that it's straight. It is. I just thought that was a really neat way to add that to the front, right? Now, what we're gonna do with the back, we have this cotton ribbon combo pack, and this is actually part of the suite. So, I need to get a drink. What are you guys drinking tonight? I know, Judy, I lose stuff all the time. Judy says, I did the same thing all the time. She does the same thing. I totally get it. Okay, so what I wanted to do here, I'm gonna grab some tape and then I'm just gonna cut it in half so that's a little bit smaller, thinner, right? And, oh, you know what we did, you guys, on the day that we went to that craft fair that really wasn't a craft fair in downtown Sarasota, we went to the Dear Dutchman for breakfast. It is an Amish bakery store and restaurant, and we had their um, breakfast buffet. Oh, my gosh, it was so good. You know, Amish, the Amish know how to cook. They know how to bake. They know how to cook. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to take this beautiful ribbon and I am going to zigzag it back and forth behind this wood plank layer. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna add that just to hold it in place so I can see what else I wanna do here. And I think that I wanna go one more, one more. There we go, yep, that's exactly what I wanna do here. Okay, so let's see. Did I tell you my husband went to bed at seven o'clock? <laughs> he must be really depressed that we're leaving. <laughs> or he also was in a food coma and did not want to admit it to me. Okay, so did I talk about this? This ribbon comes with Misty Moonlight and Petal Pink ribbon. And it's very pretty. It goes really nicely with the new horizons designer series paper that whole suite we're gonna take dimensionals which i know that i have someplace we're gonna take the edges here because i need to get rid of these and use them all up and we're going to put this layer on dimensionals just like that And we're gonna get this ready because now, oh, we're almost ready. Oops. Don't let me don't let me lose that, you guys. I'm counting on you. Yeah, so he can get his rest. That's what Judy says. Or uh, Michelle says he wants to hit the road early. We're not going any place early. You guys know that I don't really get up early, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. The other thing I wanted to use here. I wanted to use this because, god darn it, I'm in Florida and I needed to make a tropical card. And I was thinking about leaving this card for the people that are coming tomorrow. Wouldn't that be a nice welcome? And you know, stampers are pretty nice people. So I'm gonna do this palm tree and we're gonna do that on our black scrap. And if you want to, you could probably do it on the layer we're gonna put on the front, but you gotta stay away from the edges. Okay, we could cut it right out of there. You really don't need another piece. But once you die cut that, 
this is what it looks like. Oh, so cool, right? Ah, yeah, okay, so let me put that back. I've got all these different dies in here. So fun, this is a really fun set. I'm gonna take this one, which I thought was really super pretty, and on a piece of the designer paper. Now remember, this was this piece right here, okay? I'm just gonna turn it over and I'm going to die cut this on here, okay? So once we have that done, this is what it looks like. So, so pretty. Okay, now I think we're ready to start assembly. I'm gonna take, well, let's get this on here. We don't need to wait for anything else. There's no reason not to add this to our black layer. Remember that black layer is three and three quarters by five. So then the DSP layer is just an eighth of an inch smaller. Isn't that pretty? <gasps> I know, right? Did I, are you guys, did I ask you guys what you're drinking? Oh, there it comes. What are you guys drinking tonight? I had a pina colada earlier. You heard all about that, right? And it certainly hasn't made me too goofy. <laughs> I, I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> yeah. Had a lot of rum in it too, I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't the best pina colada. You know, if they put too much booze in stuff, it just doesn't taste that great. And then I'm gonna just take this and put it right there. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? I love this. Here comes this. And now I'm gonna bring this in and I'm going to put it right over here. So it's kind of coming off the side. I wanna make sure I got it straight. <gasps> Is that pretty? Then we're gonna grab some of these beauties because, well, why wouldn't you? This is my favorite. Pinot Grigio. Look at you, Carolyn. Okay, where'd that thing go? <laughs> like looking at the looking at the drinks here. Debbie's having tea. I like tea too. I bought some of that pure tea in like a half gallon or whatever. I just finished it up. Oops. I use my own sweetener in it. Although I do like sweet tea too. That can be, you know, that's a lot of sugar, which I love. <laughs> but I can't, let's see if I can get this off the card. There we go. And I'm gonna put this one right over here. Okay, so we have all of that going on, right? Okay, there's more, hang on. Now we gotta do our inside layer. Thank goodness I had that extra piece from that last card. Man. I gotta finish up laundry tonight when I'm done. I got most of it is all um, folded. And then in the morning when we get up, we have to throw the sheets in the, in the washer, wait for them to wash and then put them in the dryer. And then we can leave. I know you're not supposed to leave a dryer running when you're not home, but mm, I live on the edge. <laughs> We do it all the time at our house. Yeah. Okay, so I am just gonna use this as a beautiful little border for the inside of our card where the party still needs to be happening, right? Yeah, so oh, I have to tell you guys a funny story. So I especially wanted to use this bundle. There's a stamp set that goes with this. I especially wanted to use this bundle. It's called Paradise Palms Bundle. It is on page 25. Let me grab my mini. Oh, did I tell you guys how stiff and sore I am after that cleaning marathon? That's another reason why I said that that won't happen again. <laughs> on my last day of my fun little adventure. So this is the stamp set, really, really pretty. I swear that I have that here, but I could not find it. Like, I specifically wanted this because I'm in Florida, and I know I would have bought the whole bundle, but I can't find the stamp set. So that's why I had to improvise with this card, which turned out just great. I mean, it, it really did. I'm not being um, sarcastic. But I don't have the stamp set. So I would recommend that you get the stamp set and the dies. <laughs> not like me. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. 
Here comes our pretty little inside. And then I can write something in here like, I hope you enjoy your stay in the Jaden condo as much as we did, right? Yeah, here's our card. Isn't that fun? You guys saw how easy that was. I stamped the birds, I stamped the little um, beach grass. That's what I'm gonna call it now instead of weeds. Put this little design on the inside. If you wanted to, you could pop some of these. Oh, I already did embellishments, so I'm not gonna do these pebbles too, but you could put some pebbles in here. These are really fun. Okay, so that's our second card. And now, I think I have to clean these, so hang tight. Let me clean these off, because we're going to be making another card with the On the Horizons bundle. And let me set this over here on the floor and bring in our next bin. Okay, hang on you guys, I gotta get some of this stuff put back in where it belongs because otherwise, you know, things start getting lost and then nobody needs to see me crying. Oh, I was gonna show this to you. So this was the first card that I made. And yeah, I think I'm gonna put this envelope with that one and I'll maybe, I don't know. Oh no, that goes with the other one. Oh, I didn't have an envelope for this one. So, this one, I stamped the birds. I stamped the beach grass. I put some of those little pebbles in there. I had to make this for um, a tutorial group that I'm in. And this gave me the idea. What did I do on the inside? Nothing, boring. I'll have to fix that. This gave me the idea for the tropical because I wanted to give something to the people that are coming tomorrow. So that's where that's where I got the layout. And this is was so simple, right? Birds, grass. Birds, grass, add a little palm tree. Boom, you have some really cool cards. Okay, that's what I wanted to tell you. Now, are you guys ready for a fun fold? Who's ready for a fun fold? Let's hear. That card is beautiful, resembles your great days. You're in Florida. Thank you, Sandy, you are absolutely right. I hope I didn't get my face in the camera. <laughs> I was like leaning way up there so I could see what you wrote. Okay, did I show this to you yet? This is the On the Horizon stamp set. Here comes the dies. These are the dies that we just used for those planks. You got the little fences in here that are so cool. All right. Hang tight, because here comes a whole bunch of fun. We are going to be, oops, using basic gray, a little tear and tape, crumb cake that looks like green, but it's really crumb cake. I thought I didn't bring crumb cake with me and I was really mad because I needed it, so then I improvised and did something else and then found my crumb cake my label faded. It should look like this. I don't know. Okay. Um, linen thread. Let's see. Here comes my dimensions and all the pieces. Oh, we're going to set these aside. I'll bring them back out when we're done. All right. Blackberry bliss. I love me some blackberry bliss. And let me get all these bits and pieces out here. Okay, here we go. So first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna use this to decorate up my envelope flat. Are you guys sick of watching me do this? Because I know sometimes that can be kind of annoying, but if I don't do it right now while I'm making the cards, then I never Oh, 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 that's not the right piece. <gasps> Hang on. That was wrong. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. Ah! That's gonna make me very sad because I don't think I have any envelopes. Hang on. Let me look. See if I have a pack of envelopes here. And I do not. Okay, so we're not gonna do an envelope for this card, but I'll show you the other envelope that I already made. Sorry. Thank you very much that I didn't mess that up because I don't have this paper out anymore. It's packed. 
Okay, so we have Blackberry Bliss. We have some basic white. Here's all of our pieces. There's a scrap and also crumb cake and a little tiny quarter inch Blackberry Bliss. So let me tell you about these dimensions. This piece is two and a half by five and a quarter. Does the mini catalog expire on the first? No, the mini catalog goes until the end of April. So you've got a long time, Sandra. Okay, so we're gonna use this. Then we've got this piece. This is one and a quarter by four. And we're gonna actually use this side. Then you need two more pieces. These are three quarters by three and a quarter. I've got a half inch strip here. Basic white is three and a quarter by four. And then these are, this is our card base. So this is four and a quarter by 10 inches. This one is two and three quarters by eight and a half. So Dolly says it goes to the end of June. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at the annual catalog cover. Thank you, Dolly, very much. Sandra, I apologize. Um, this particular mini catalog, and remember, everything is while supplies last, so you got to keep that in mind. Let me get this closed here. For good grief. Here we go. So this particular catalog is our spring mini catalog. It says it goes until June, too, but I think that's maybe, I don't know. Anyways, it doesn't end on the 1st. It says it goes till June 30th, Dolly. So, um, yeah, many is the end of June. Okay, good. Good to know. Thank you. Yeah, January through June. I'm like, did they change something that I didn't, I missed? Okay, so let's keep going here. But thank you for clarifying that, and thank you for asking. I always appreciate your guys' guys's help. Here comes our paper trimmer. We have some scoring to do. So let's get this opened up here. Move this out of the way. I'm gonna get this out of the way. Here we go. Oh, by the way, you guys, I forgot to mention, this is my host code. If you do plan on placing an order with me, I appreciate your orders. Use this host code if your order's under $150. Do not use the code if it's over $150. You're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up! and I definitely want you to have them. You're gonna find my online store link right here on my blog. Okay, I just saw that and I'm like, oh, I never talked about that. This is the four and a quarter by 10. We're gonna score that at three and a half. And remember, all these measurements are gonna be in the free downloads and also listed on my blog. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep that up, having them in two places, but because the um, free downloads are new, I just didn't want people to think that I wasn't providing dimensions anymore because I think that's super important to make your stamping experience as hassle-free and easy as possible, right? We wanna have fun when we're stamping. We don't wanna be deciphering all this stuff if it's if somebody else has already done it. Like, give it up, <laughs> right? Okay, did I tell you what these numbers were? This was three and a half, seven and eight and a half. And now we're gonna take this piece, which is our two and three quarters by eight and a half, and we're gonna score that at three inches. Just like that. Okay. Now, this card is a, it's called a faux center step card. That's what I've named it because center step cards are rather tricky. And this one is faux because you don't have to do all the cutting, the cutting and the from here to here to there to there and to there to there. It's like, no, this is super duper easy and you're going to love it, I guarantee it. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do that and then we're gonna do this and then we're gonna do that. So this is what I have, okay? Boom, 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 boom. And then this, those are our pieces. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to, hang on, bring in these three pieces of designer series paper. I'm gonna take this one, the one and a quarter inch, and I'm going to put that right here on the front of my panel. Just like that. 
Then we're gonna open that up. We're gonna take these two pieces. And we're going to put them right over here, like that. Hang on, I got stuff sticking all over to me. <laughs> Everything's sticking to me. And, oops, hang on, I got that kind of crooked. There we go, just like that, okay? So, that's what we have. Oh, I just got glue on there, hang on. I got glue on my fingers. Then, we are going to take this piece that I almost glued in my envelope flap, holy cow, right? And we're going to add this to the front of our panel. Just like this. Isn't that pretty? I should have stamped it first. So hang tight. I got ahead of myself. This is gray granite. You could definitely use black too if you wanted to, but I kind of wanted this to be a little bit less, not quite so bold. So I'm gonna do this. There's our birds. Yay! And then I might have just stamped them upside down. I did, <laughs> but it's okay because you really don't notice it. <laughs> and again, I'm using the On the Horizon stamp set. So I'm going to bring in these little trees right here and I'm going to do those in gray also. I'm going to put them right on this horizon that is part of the designer paper. Oh, that turned out great. Oh, I wish it would have been a little darker. I'm going to leave it alone though. I don't want to mess it up. Then we're gonna grab this piece and I'm going to grab my thanks for everything and I only want the thanks to be inked up. So I'm just gonna ink it up. I don't even see where I got that on to the rest of the words. So yay me, winning, right? Okay, Let's see if I can get this. I huffed on it a little bit. Oh my gosh, that's my night, <laughs> not gonna lie. Okay, then let's finish this up first before we do the rest of the card because this is super cool. Now, I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna cut it just like this. So this you're like, oh, that's really kind of boring, Kelly, what the heck, that's not your style. But we're gonna take this little quarter, quarter inch? Yeah, quarter inch, let me measure that. Is that a quarter? Yep, it's a quarter inch, so it's a little quarter inch piece. I'm gonna put a little glue right here, and I'm gonna take my half inch thanks and put it right on here. And then we're going to go snip. And snip, just like that. And that's a really neat way to spruce up a little tiny sentiment like that that would otherwise be pretty darn boring, right? Now, I'm gonna grab some of my Baker's Twine here, or I mean my linen thread, and I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put this around three fingers. I'm gonna wrap it up three times. So it's about this big. Give it a cut. And now I'm going to uh, see if I can get a little tiny sliver of tape here. I'm gonna put this on the back. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on the back of this layer. So sometimes this can be kind of tricky to get so you don't see the tape from the front, right? And then I kind of want to take and spread it out a little bit so it doesn't look so uniform. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna come in here with one of my little edge pieces again. I'm gonna nail that little bugger right there down so it's not moving any place. So I kind of put my, I didn't kind of, I completely put my 
dimensional on my linen thread so that it won't go any place without seeing it from the front. That's the, that's the trick, right? Oops. Get that on there. There we go. Okay, and here comes this part. I'm gonna kind of wrap this around down here because I don't like that sticking up there like that. I'm gonna put this right down in here. Make sure I get it straight. There we go. All right, you guys, next, we've got that white. Here's our white piece right here. And I am going to take that, um, oh, base, oh, shoot, basic gray. And I'm going to stamp that right down here on the bottom of this little four by, what size was this? Four by three and a quarter inch piece. Okay, this is the inside of our card. It's gonna go right here. So there's a nice little area that you can write on. And you can do whatever you want in here, but I chose just to do that beach grass or whatever it's called, okay? Now, this piece right here, we still have a little bit to do to it. So we are going to take the fence and we're gonna die cut that. Uh-oh, oh, hang on. Uh-oh, where did it go? Here it is. Oh my gosh, it was sending me into a panic because I don't have any of this stuff out anymore. So we're gonna die cut that on a crumb cake layer and when you do that, it looks like this. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take the wood plank image that's in the On the Horizon stamp set. And we're gonna take some crumb cake ink and we're going to give this wood fence a little aging, I guess is a good way to put it. And it gives it those little marks like a wood fence. So that's kind of a nifty little trick to do. Okay. Um, oh, I meant to stamp a little bit of that, um, that beach grass down here too. And we can still do that. Hang on. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Thank goodness you guys are just watching. <laughs> you can do all this stuff later, right? We're going to take this and I'm going to kind of put it mm, right about there. Okay, so we've got just a little bit of swamp grass or beach grass. A swamp grass. <laughs> And I'm gonna kind of bring my fence in here just like this. This is gonna be very cool. Ah, hang on, let's get our glue out. And this is just a neat way to set up these scenery cards. They're just so easy to add all of these little elements to them so easily. Now I'm gonna bring in, whoops, some of my pebbles. And I'm gonna just add one right down here at the bottom of my little fence. Oh, you little bugger. There we go. Put another one right there. And maybe one more. Now, I'm almost feeling like I should have a little bit of swamp grass over here or beach grass, but I'm gonna leave it alone now. I'm just gonna let it, I'm gonna stop messing with it. And now we need to put this together. So I'm gonna show you where I got this idea from because it came in a card from somebody at Christmas time. Yeah, and Barbara says these are good for masculine cards. They are so good. Judith, hi Judith. Judith loves the pebbles. I do too, Judith. I absolutely love the pebbles. So now we're gonna take some tear and tape. It's really important that you use tear and tape and not a tape runner. And I'll show you why in just a second. And then we are going to put tape on the back of this and on the back of this one, right down here, right near the end, okay? So let's take the one off the short panel first. We're gonna, we're gonna take this and we're gonna center it on the front of our card. This is all folded up. 
center it on the, and watch this. Ready? That's it. Okay, this part right here, we're gonna take this off. So for those of you who have done a center step card before, you know how complicated they are, right? Is this just like, are you screaming? Are you squealing right now at how simple this is? Here's the inside. Oh my goodness. And then here's what I did to the envelope. <laughs> I ruined my other envelope because I put glue all over it. But here is our center step card. It sits just like this. It is so easy because you're just gonna score, 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 fold, take this piece and score it, and then glue it here and here. I know, Wendy goes, whoa, I know, right, Wendy? <laughs> it's called a faux center step. And if you look up center step cards, you will see how complicated they are. You have to do all these things where you're cutting from here to here and inch in from there, and then you gotta do the same thing over here. And blah, blah, blah. Hi, Lori Hyde, I'm happy to see you. This is so simple and it's basically the same thing, just less complicated. <gasps> Lori, I know, right? Okay, so where did I get this idea from? Are you ready? Do you guys remember this card that I got at Christmas time? This was from Lori Callies absolutely beautiful. This is where I got the idea from. And the reason why I want you to use tear and tape is because especially I'm thinking this has a lot to do with being here in Florida because it's such high humidity that the tape runners don't stick as well as the tear and tape would. So, and that's the only reason I'm saying that. And Lori, don't say anything like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. No, don't say that. But it's just a good... It's just a good rule that we need to remember to use tear and tape for stuff like this. Everything else, none of this other stuff is gonna come undone, but sometimes things like that will. But isn't this just beautiful? Look at, look at Lori's card. That's where I got this idea from. And I so appreciate the cards that you guys send me because I can take little pieces, sometimes big pieces, from all of the cards that you send me to incorporate into something that I'm going to make and share with you. So I always appreciate your cards. All right, so here's our faux center step. Here's, oops, let me get this out of here. Let me get this mess cleaned up. Here's our tropical card, right? I think I'm gonna leave this for the people that are coming to use the condo for the next month. Here's where I got the idea from. And then here is our friendly hello card with that classic layout and that stitched greenery in the background. Yeah, and I add a little wink of Stella to that flower. I hope you can see that. But here are all of our cards for tonight. I absolutely love this on the horizon bundle. Now this is the one, that's the stamp set. Here are the dies. These are the dies that go with the stamp set, plus the paper, you can buy the whole suite, okay? If there's anything back ordered in the suite, it won't let you buy the whole suite. It will only let you buy individual items like the paper and the stamp set and the dies or whatever. The dies might be on back order, I don't know. Um, and then I used the palms, which I can't even find here right at the moment. I don't know where the palms went. Someplace for the palm tree. That's what they're called. The palms dies. What happens to my stuff? Like there's nobody here touching anything, but oh my gosh, I can't find anything. Okay. I don't know where they are, but anyways, you saw me use them with the palm tree in it. <sighs> okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed these cards tonight. I was super excited to be able to stamp with you again from Sarasota, Florida. Ah, Flo, you are so sweet. Your last day of vacation and your best night of cards. You knocked it out of the park. Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. Yeah, this is our last night in Sarasota. We are heading home tomorrow morning as soon as we get those sheets in the dryer. <laughs> 
Yeah. And uh, this is all I have left to pack up and then my clothes, which is, you know, kind of a whole deal too. But anyways, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Please make sure you click on that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Share my video, whether you're on Facebook Live, Facebook later on the replay, YouTube later on the replay. And you're going to have free downloads for all three of these cards on my blog as soon as I get this video downloaded and uploaded to YouTube. You can click and find free downloads with all the dimensions, pictures. I've got pictures of the front. I've got pictures of the inside, so you're not going to want to miss that. Go check out those free downloads, www.astampabove.com. And don't forget, celebration ends on Monday. I keep saying Tuesday. I'm so sorry. Monday, February 28th, which is tomorrow. It is the best time of year to join my team. Get a discount on your products. If you don't need anything else, that's fine. You can also build a business, and I am available to help you do that. Become part of my team. Become part of something bigger. You get two additional stamp sets for free. Only pay $99 and get to choose $125 in product, plus those two stamp sets plus a ton more of stuff. You get so much from me. I can't even, you, it's hard to wrap your head around it. I'm not even kidding. But I do offer a lot to my team members. I love my team members. It doesn't matter if you are just ordering for yourself or if you want to do something more with it. Everybody is treated the same. I do not discriminate. We have fun team meetings with all kinds of fun demonstrations. We have a card swap. It's just so much fun to be part of something more. So I highly encourage you to do that. There is a $99 kit button in the right-hand column on my blog. Click on that. There's a link to join. It costs you $99 plus tax. Free shipping on your kit, and you get to pick out everything. It's a win-win. There's no strings attached. Give it a try. If nothing else, you're going to get almost $100 in product for free, right? You're only going to pay $99. So, okay, I am going to let you go. This is my last show from Sarasota, and I thank you guys. It is a wrap. Have yourselves a wonderful week. I will see you again next Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time right here on Facebook Live. Have a great week. Bye-bye.